All right, so when you're building sites today, landing pages or anything else, you're most likely going to need dark mode. And dark mode is something that's widely accepted and many users expect for you to have a dark mode. Implementing dark mode is fun, but sometimes it's very tedious because if you're using Tailwind, and you should, there's this problem where you have to add these dark glasses. So for example, if I have a background here and I want a different background when the dark mode is turned on on the user's browser, we have to add a dark with colon here, so this, this prefix, and then we have to add the actual background. So we can say a background red 500, right? But this is just tedious when there's more and more things to add. So for example, you have to add outlines, opacities, and everything else that you can change with dark mode. Now, what if I told you that we can implement dark mode and light mode with just one class? You don't have to do anything else. You write one class and this class will adapt whether the user has dark mode or a light mode on their browser, which is amazing. And I'm gonna show you exactly how. So if I go back to my browser here and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do this exact thing with Tailwind with a couple of lines so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go to our browser and we're going to change the the theme to light so we're going to change the light we're going to go back nothing changes we're going to go back to dark we're going to go back to our site nothing changes now how do we do this it's really simple you have to go to your code you have to install table and css of course you can run up v3 act whatever you're using and in your globals files here you're going to add the tailwind directives that are needed and you're going to define the root here to have these colors you can add any colors any names it's not important i just add these arbitrary names text background primary secondary and accent we want to add one more theme here which will reflect on these colors so once we add this we can go back to our tailwind config we can add these colors so text is going to be the actual variable from the css file now to implement the actual switching when dark mode comes in here's how easy it is to do i've purposely left it down here at the bottom we have this media prefers color scheme dark and when i go back here and i add it inside the layer base we're gonna say when the user prefers dark mode when their browser is in dark mode you should use these colors here instead of these ones are defined so what happens now once we save this we go back to our browser we have dark mode if i go back and switch to light here go back we have light mode if i go back switch to dark here we have dark mode this is just with one class so if we go to our code here we have a section and this is background background and this is the color defined if we want the primary color to change so for example we have background primary here that's it it adapts to either either of these colors so either this one or this one if i want this to be a let's say black color i can go change this and i can go back here and there you go you have a black color so it's that simple there's only one negative to this approach is that the user can't actually manually change whether they want light mode or dark mode you see this in many websites so for example like mantine you have this in the upper right corner where you can switch between light mode and dark mode this is not possible to implement with this approach but if you want a simple quick good dark mode and light mode without adding any extra logic this is the way to do it i'll also do a video on how to have infinite number of themes in tailwind with just one class and i'll do a video on that but this is really dead simple and easy to implement and until next time bye